in this episode of Motoforce. We are going to preview the recently launched Suzuki Intruder 150 or how Suzuki would like to call it as the luxury dynamic cruiser. Pero, nung nilaunch ito ng Suzuki sa Makina Motobuilds Pilipinas and Big Bike Expo 2019 is hindi sila nagbigay ng specs and kung magkano. Kaya, nag-research ang Motoforce para sa inyo to give you the exact specs and maybe kung magkano. But before we proceed, <laughs> of course, konting advertisement lang for my channel. Subscribe to Motoforce to stay updated for videos like this para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong motor na parating ng Pilipinas. Okay ba? Let's start off with the engine na kaagad. It is a 154.9 cc single cylinder engine, two valves, four stroke SOHC. Yes, you heard it right. Single overhead camshaft. Five speed manual transmission. Yung bore stroke niya is 56 mm by 62.9 mm. Yung dadalhin ng Suzuki dito guys is carbureted and air-cooled. Even though sa India is actually meron na silang FI. Why? Why Suzuki? Moving on sa performance ng engine na yon. Yung claimed top speed niya is 115 km per hour. 14.6 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 14 Newton meter at 6,000 RPM. And given that engine and performance, yung fuel consumption niya is 40 to 45 kilometers per liter. Yung tanke niya pala guys can handle 11 liters of gasoline. Which is pretty quite good for a 150 cruiser. Pagdating sa brakes and wheels, yung front niya is 100 by 80, 17. With a 266mm 2-piston caliper disc brake. Yung rear naman niya is 140 by 60, 17 with a 240mm 1 piston caliper and single ABS yung Suzuki Intruder 150. Moving on, on the ground clearance and chassis ng motor na ito. Meron siyang monoshock swing arm and telescopic forks. 2130 by 805 by 1095 mm yung dimensions niya with a ground clearance of 170 mm which is quite good kasi di ba yung cruiser is dinadala natin yan sa mga rough roads. So yung ground clearance niya is sapat na sapat talaga. And syempre, hindi natin makakalimutan yung instrument cluster. Digital na siya with gear indicator. For this bike, yung pansinin talaga is yung headlight niya. So yung headlight niya is LED projected headlamp with an AHU technology or yung all headlights on. Always headlights on.
And did you know that this motorcycle is perfect for us Filipinos? Bucket. 5 feet, 5'2, five 5'4. Five the common height ng mga average Pinoy. It is only 740 mm yung seat height niya. So, tukod na tukod. <laughs> You're not gonna be having problems with traffic for this one. Kung dadalhin lahat ng Suzuki itong apat na kulay dito sa Pilipinas, which is already available in India, Number one is the combination of metallic gray and metallic matte black. Number two is the glass sparkle black, metallic matte titanium silver. The limited edition gray and red. And the number four is the metallic matte titanium silver. Pero ang tanong, magkano nga ba? Gusto kong mag-comment kaya sa baba kung magkano yung estimate niyo for this bike. Even if you don't like it, just drop your comments for your estimates. 